Good afternoon, everybody. Um, my name is Anton Venema. I'm the CTO of uh, Frozen Mountain Software. And I'm here to talk to you a little bit about uh, how you can use WebRTC today across every platform. So natively, we have support in Chrome, Firefox, and Opera. And what we've done is we've written our own WebRTC stack that allows us to deploy WebRTC to Internet Explorer using an ActiveX control. We deploy to Safari using a Java applet. We provide a .NET and Windows SDK. We provide a Mac OS SDK. We have a Java SDK that runs on Linux and Mac and Windows. We have an iOS SDK, an Android SDK, a Windows Phone SDK, uh, Xamarin, iOS, Android, and Mac SDKs, and even an SDK for Unity if you're interested in doing 3D game development in a web browser. So what we're trying to do is get you to get you to the point where you can put WebRTC anywhere. Web Icelink gives you WebRTC support across every platform using SDKs. It works with any signaling system. It includes a stun turn server that you can deploy to an EC2 instance or to a self-hosted server, or you can use your own. It's priced per developer. There are no runtime fees. And for the technical people, um, it has an identical API across every platform, including the ones where native support is available. The JavaScript SDK will automatically use ActiveX or Java as it's needed. Plugins are automatically bypassed as browser vendors add native support. And that includes Object RTC when it becomes available. If you go to Icelink.fm, you can download our community uh, SDK. There, it's chock full of examples. It's the best way to learn. Um, and it'll help you get started. So for a live demo, we're up booth 223, which is kind of in the middle there. Um, you can see native Mac talking to Internet Explorer, talking to Safari. And that's it. Thank you. Come see us at booth 223.